history and geography. Basel was, of course, Jung's hometown. It was Albert Hoffman's hometown. <laughs> Did one half of town know what the other half was doing? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Um, the, the relationship of Jung to the unconscious, uh, to the collective unconscious as its discoverer, has been always somewhat puzzling to me because, of course, if you know the history of 20th century art, you know that Dada, which was the great prefigurative movement for surrealism, rose in Zurich. So, you know, we've got LSD, the uh, schools of modern art that laid great stress on the irrational, and the great schools of psychology that extended the boundaries of the unconscious, all rattling around in these little Swiss towns. And uh, uh, it's interesting to imagine conversations or meetings that might have taken place uh, when people slightly left their ordinary habits and wandered into bars they didn't know and <laughs> drank with people they'd never met before. Uh, 